calling it by its name, right-wing extremism and terrorism, uh, is the right thing to do. Uh, I mean, I heard that from the right wing. You got to call it by its name. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. <laughs> I will never get tired, man. You guys are killing me with that shit. You're fucking killing me with that shit, man. I hear that shit. I hear that shit in my sleep now, man. Fucking Wayne's World. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting from my mother's basement here in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> so I want to uh, I want to get in front of this um, this uh, flare up, right? I was watching. I'm surfing uh, YouTube. I mean, like I got nothing else to do, right? That's what I do, right? So I'm little watching YouTube, and Cenk Uger, the mastermind of the Young Turks, the the entrepreneurial Cenk Uger of the Young Turks, the largest online online news media organization in the world, according to them. Might be true. It's big. Four million subscribers, right? So Cenk releases this video of him that it looks like he's laying on his back or so. I don't know. Maybe it's a sh shitty old video, right? Of him venomously attacking the, the right wing. They're so fucking fucked up. I cannot believe that they get away with this. It's all because of the right and Trump. It's fucking Congressman Trump. So the shooting and the bombing, the, the fake bombing, according to Cenk Uger, the largest online news media conglomerate in the world, 44 million subscribers, is out there propagandizing and dividing. Another shooting, another terrorist act, another right-winger extremist. Calling it by its name, right-wing extremism and terrorism, uh, is the right thing to do. I don't know if the right wing takes any pride in that their latest MAGA bomber didn't use a gun. He used bombs. But this guy, Robert Bowers, uh, visited alt-right websites, uh, believed in the same right wing conspiracy theories, pushed not only by the alt-right, by, but by Republican congressmen and Donald Trump and the Republican Party at large. Again, these are not exaggerations. These are facts. I'll give you the specific examples in a second. So let's stop him right there. He says he's going to give facts, but he, he never does. He doesn't He doesn't give any facts. But but he calls it, the, there's right-wing, you know, conspiracies. It's the alt-right. He's using all of these, these, these trigger words to bring people to what he believes is the left. Right? See, that's the trap. What, what guys like Cenk Uger, already you could see that, what he doesn't understand is that most of the country is in the middle. Most of the country is actually a little center left where everyone already sees what he doesn't see, that the system is deeply corrupted and that people don't want to participate in the system anymore. But Cenk believes that you fight politics with politics. I think he's even going to say that. And I fundamentally disagree. You cannot fight fairly to people who don't play fair they cheat they lie they steal they set people up they kill people they start insurgency wars to keep a military industrial complex going they keep people sick so that they can make money off of the pharmaceutical industrial complex they keep people in jail so that they can make money off the jail industrial complex everything is a money maker don't you get it All right now, he also makes a fact, I just want to read into the record too, that he says that uh, that everybody accuses the Jews, the Jews did this, the Jews did that, right? Well, he's actually he's actually right in defending uh, Jewish America in terms of controlling the banks, right? So who's in control of a bank? The CEO, right? So Morgan Stanley, no, they're not, where's my piece of paper? Oh, yeah, I wrote it down. So Morgan Stanley, to, to listen to the money first, and then we'll talk about if he's a Jew or not. J.P. Morgan, $2.5 trillion. Jamie Dimon, Greek Orthodox, not a Jew. B of A, B Bank of America, $2.28 trillion. Brian Moynihan, Irish guy. Wells Fargo, $1.9 trillion. Timothy Sloan, not a Jew. Citigroup, $1.8 billion. Michael Corbett, not a Jew. And number five, Lloyd Blankfein, ah, New York Jew. <laughs> so... One out of you know one out of five is a Jew, so he's he's right in saying that you know stop with the Jew bashing. There's no evidence to su suggest that the Jews are taking over the banking industry. Oh, there's a lot of Jews in banking. So what? It's not a fucking Jew problem. It's a money problem. It's a money problem. That's I just rattled off eight trillion dollars in assets. 
powerful. That's the fucking story. That's the story, Shank. Shanky boy. That's the story, not the fucking juice story, you dummy. See, for guys like Cenk Uger, it's too late to turn back. He can't turn back. No, because if you turn back, you're Hillary Clinton. You look back, you, 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 you got nothing but a track record of being wrong. Right? Wrong, right? Left, right? Long, left, left, right? It's like a, you guys are like that, that uh, Abbott and Costello thing. Who's on first? Who's uh, Right? Left, right? Who? What? It's all fucking bullshit. Most of the country is past it, right? Most of the country is past it. Because of right-wing extremists. So what are we going to do something about it? And by do something, I don't mean like the lunatics on the right. I mean, law enforcement gets serious about right-wing extremists in this country and begins to take action, not against their opinions, which is, you know, they love to hide behind it. Well, hey, I have a right to say that uh, the Jews control everything, that they control the banks, they control the media, they control the caravan. I have a right to say it. Yeah, I know, it's America. You do have a right to say it. But then you guys keep egging on violence, egging on violence. So the FBI should be uh, all over the right wing. Man, my God, guys, we got to fight back. This is an epidemic of violence from the right. And I am so sick of their propaganda as they blame the left for actually speaking out to politicians while they're sending bombs and bullets. Call it what it is. That's exactly what happened. He's, he's become a victim of his own propaganda. See, the, the, the story, you have, to, you have to wind it up. I'm uniquely positioned for this because I'm in the middle. See, Cenk Uger, back in 2016, when there was a, 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 democ when there were a democratic primary, when we actually thought it was still, most of us believed it, that it was actually real, that Bernie Sanders was really running against Hillary Clinton, right? We didn't know it was a fake election. We didn't, nobody told us. Like, Fuck, it's fake. The election's fake. We found out later that it is fake, that they rigged the, you know, they rigged, rigged the primaries, right? right? Tons of evidence to prove it, right? Real fucking evidence, Mr. Yuga. Real fucking evidence. We have the DNC admitted it in open court. Admitted it that the primaries are rigged. So, 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 so don't go fucking bullshitting that there's no evidence that the elections are rigged. So in 2016, Bernie Sanders is running against Hillary Clinton. And the Democrats line up behind Hillary Clinton and throw Bernie Sanders under the bus. They call him a, he's a Jew, he's a, he's a, he's a socialist, he's, he can never win, he's, his policies are stupid, he's dumb, he's old, he's going to die, right? Every, they hit him with every, they took his money, they, 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 told his, they told him to tell his people to, to give to the DNC, and then they took that DNC money and laundered it, sorry, for that, and took it and, and, and gave it to Hillary Clinton, all kinds of nasty, corrupt shit. And Cenk Uger, guys like Cenk Uger and his magnificent, magnificent, diverse board of people said, no, you gotta, I mean, they, they, everybody knew that Hillary Clinton cheated and threw Bernie Sanders under the boat, and these guys said, vote for Hillary Clinton. And 40% of the country said, fuck you, we're not doing it, right? And Cenk Uger was, is, still is convinced that he's going to turn the boat around and he's going to get in there and the Democrats, and he's going he's gonna to turn the Democrats in his favor and, and he's going to reform the party, right? Justice Democrats, right? That's that, our revolution, rah, right? That's, that's who Cenk Uger is, right? He's invested, deeply invested. So I want to look at the psychology of the, the thing because it, it is, it's fascinating to watch. And you're going to see Cenk Uger, you can see the veins pop out of his neck. He's so fucking pissed off and blaming the right for, for everything, for, for the bombing, the fake bombing, without looking at any evidence. But he's already sure. In Cenk Uger's mind, Cenk Uger has already convicted the, the, the fake bomber. No, don't, we don't want to see no evidence. Oh, no, no, the FBI said, the FBI said, we could trust the FBI. The FBI is always right. Why? The FBI lies? Fucking, come on. The FBI lies, they threaten people? No, come on. This is America. The FBI, these are good people, man. They don't, they don't do that. It's just CIA? Hell no. No, man. Everything is, everything is on the up and up. The deep state and the, the intelligence agencies are 100% for the people. But he's, he's taking these... Shots, this antagonism yep. is taunting to the intelligence Let me tell community. You, you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. 
So even for a practical, supposedly hard-nosed businessman, he's being really dumb to do this. What do you think the intelligence community would do if they were motivated I don't know, to? but I, from what I'm told, they are very upset with how he has treated them and talked about them. And we need the intelligence community. We don't know what's going Look at the Russian hacking. Without the intelligence community, we wouldn't have uh, discovered it. This feels like a spot. I, I have this fear that it could be some Russian operation, too, in designed to do what's happening now. More of this, you know. Was... And so in some ways, we shouldn't rule out. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just... Where even after the bomb went to Soros' house, they ran an ad saying that Soros is behind everything and it's his fault. I mean, it, I mean, look, there's a thousand terrible things about them. Uh, and, and let's just note the irony that their donors buy everything under the sun. They buy all their politicians. And then they turn around and go, oh, I can't believe Soros is putting money into politics. All your donors put money into politics. And then they turn around and blame everything on Soros. Why? Because they're anti-Semitic. And they know that the alt-right and unfortunately a decent chunk of the right wing in this country can't wait for conspiracy theories like that. How are the guys in the media running the banks? Because that's one of the oldest anti-Semitic conspiracy theories there is. Everything's done by Soros. Next thing you know, there's a bomb in Soros' house. Look, politically, I am largely against Soros. Why? Because he is on the establishment Democratic side. That's the side we fight all the time. He likely gives money to those establishment candidates in the primaries. I mean, his defense of a guy like George Soros is staggering because George Soros is a globalist. George Soros is on the record saying that when he invests money, he doesn't care about the social ramifications of what he invests in. He says it. That that's business, right? That's who Cenk Uger is now defending. Mr. Get Money Out of Politics. Mr. Mr. Give a, a, you know, a, a, a constitutional amendment to, the, you know, to overturn Citizens United and get money out of politics, right? Fucking guy is backing a guy like Soros who's on the record paying off politicians saying publicly that I don't care what what the fuck happens. I don't care. I just give the money. And if if the money I give makes me more money, I'm good. Right. You don't do crazy, insane conspiracy theories. I, I have this fear that it could be some Russian operation, too, in designed to do what's happening now. You fight politics with politics, not with bombs and bullets. But the right wing has no bounds anymore. And he and the Republican Party, they're running ads today. Soros, Soros, Soros. And you know how the globalist elite run things. These are the oldest anti-Semitic conspiracy theories there, there are. See, it's, it's investment in, in, a, in a theory that the Jews control everything, that, that, uh, that that's why the right acts the way they do. See, see, that's Cenk has to prove that right. He has to prove the right is wrong so that he's right. right? That's what it is, right? He's trying so hard to say that, 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 that the right, that everything the right is doing is somehow this twisted conspiracy theory, right? Now, Fox News is guilty of, you know, sewing together conspiracy theories for years and years and years on their own network, on their own dime, right? Throughout the Obama administration, guilty as charged. But it doesn't mean that you, in, in Cenk's view, view, in Cenk's mind, it does mean that you fight those type of politics with the same type of politics. And where has that gotten us? Cenk understands it, but he's not willing to, he's not willing to look, look the corruption in the eye because they gave him $20 million. Right? Long pause. They gave him $20 million. Somebody gave Cenk Uga $20 million. And now they're in California. They all have a salary. They're making money. They're, they're comfortable. And they can't back out. Right? There's no going back once you do that. Once you take the money, there's no going back. There's no going back to having, you know, your own opinion. Because, look, they, these, these are not nice people. You know, if you back out of a deal like that, like a banking deal, you know, the... The bankers say, oh, it's a conspiracy theory that they kill you, that, they, that there's six ways to get you. Oh, they're going to get you. Six ways to Sunday to get you. That's all a theory, right? That's not, that's not true. You take on the intelligence community. They have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. And what did the right wing do? They said, oh, the Jew, the Jewish charity. You got to make sure that you go get them. God damn it, man. You got
got to stop egging people on with violence, but they won't do it. And so now Trump says it today, and just like I told you with the bomber, he can't help himself. For the first day with the bomber, he talked about, oh, we have to be careful about the bombing, and that's not a good thing. It was on a teleprompter. We showed you that it was on a teleprompter. The minute he goes off the prompter the next day, he's like, well, maybe I should tone it up. Maybe I should tone it up. You know, and then what do they do? The guy who did the bombings had a CNN sucks uh, bumper sticker and a poster at a Trump rally. That day of the Trump rally, after the bomber was caught and we knew who he was and who, what his bumper stickers were and what his posters were, they chanted CNN sucks over and over again. You think he's discouraging the violence? He tells people in rallies, go punch them in the face, go commit assaults, and I'll pay your legal bills. And you say, oh, that was in the campaign. No, it's not in the campaign. He just did it in Montana. He said, oh, this guy, Gianforti. He assaulted a reporter. That's my kind of guy. The kind of guy who does a violent assault on the media. That's my kind of guy, he said. All of this is ginned up by Fox News and Republican congressmen like Matt Gates and Donald Trump over and over and over again. And, and now you got blood in the streets and, and bombs in the mail. And then, for God's sake, media, stop calling it even. It ain't even. It's the right wing that's doing it. It's the right wing that does tremendous, out of control violence over and over again. I want to read. I want to read something to you guys. This is some poetry, right? I, I didn't write this, but it's poetry, and you might recognize it as I read it. Come gather around people wherever you roam, and admit that the waters around you have grown, and accept that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If it's time to you, if this time to you is worth saving. You better start swimming because you're sinking like a stone because the times they are changing. Right, Cenk? The times are changing and you, you're not changing. You're not aware that you're out there calling half the country racist and bigots and, and Jew haters and black haters. and You know, you're, you're out of your fucking mind. Why don't you go out, why don't you put your fucking million dollars away for just a minute and go take a tour across the country and go see what regular people are thinking and feeling. They like this president. They like the, the idea of the big man on the tank and the American flags flagging. Why, why do you have to take that away from them? Why do you have to s interpret that as racist and bigots and, and, and fucking Jew haters and why? Right, your own network is bashing this this guy, this 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 bomber, pseudo bomber guy. Maybe he's just a poor ass that was victimized. Has it ever occurred to you that that's what's going on in your country? Has it ever occurred to you that that's what's going on in your country after the Democrats stole the election, ripped the fucking election right out from under your feet? Has it ever occurred to you that that's what's going on, Mister Uger? Come mothers and fathers throughout this great land and don't criticize what you can't understand. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command and the old road is aging. So please get out of the way if you can't lend your hand for the times they are changing. Give you one more. Senators, congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in the doorway. Don't lock up the hall. Block up the hall. For he who gets hurt will be he who has stalled. Hmm. There's a battle outside and it's raging. It's going to shake your windows and rattle your walls. For the times they are changing. Don't you get it? I mean, how many times you got to get fucked before you say, oh, I don't, you know, I don't like this, man. I don't like getting fucked. How, when do you stop? Why don't you take your... Take your giant organization and point it at the truth, right? You want a real party? Truth. That's the party, right? Me, I get called everything, you know, on earth, you know, buck tooth cousin fucker, you know, everything people call me. So what? Who cares? Liberal, socialist, you know, cocksucker, fuck. What do I care? I don't, I don't care. What? It doesn't. It's sticks and stones may break my bones. Why are you so invested in what people say? Okay. So, so again, there's still no evidence of the bomber. It looks like a pseudo bombing. I've done five videos already. There's still no, no solid effort evidence from law enforcement that, that is convincing enough to say, yeah, that's the guy, right? 
Now, in terms of the shooter, it is a despicable act of violence. But but the guy, you're not even looking at the evidence already that from his own page says that he's not a Trump supporter. He's not a make America great again guy. He's not a right wing conspiracist, right? That's these. This is in your mind how you're viewing it. This is a guy who's pissed off and he's so gaslighted by a fake media that he doesn't know which way is up and which way is down. That's the fucking problem, right? It's a it's a it's an American problem. It's a it's a social mentality problem created by a fake news media that's controlled by the corporations. That's the problem. But why why you rather than divide, rather than vilify, I mean find some compassion in a country of 330 million people, one kook goes off before the election. And then you blame the gun. Blame the fucking gun. Guy's got no no background. What are you going to blame? Blame the gun? So maybe we could come together. I mean, maybe we can, maybe we can 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 bring the, the the mass amounts of people out there that have a lot in common. People have more in common today than they they uh, they're against, right? They're against the corruption. Everybody knows that. And when you stand on the side of corruption, Mister Uger, you 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 represent the corruption. When you stand in the aisle with the Democrats, the crooked Democrats, people like Cory Booker and Hillary Clinton and, you know, even Elizabeth Warren, these people are despicable in the country. People hate them. They hate them, right? Because they, cause they're, cause they're dishonest. And then, they, and then there's the other side that hates Mitch McConnell. They hate Paul Ryan. They hate Donald Trump. They hate the politicians. Don't you get it? It's just... You know, this side hates that side's politicians and that side hates this politicians. But they're all they're all they're all in the same boat. They're all money grabbers. Put our energies together and and focus on bringing the people together under an umbrella. Most people will agree of a, in universal health care. Most people will agree that the corporations are are ripping the country off when explained to them properly rather than call them racists and bigots. And, and you tell them that the banks are ripping people off and you show them how it's done, right? That's how you, you, that's how you bring, that's how you unify. But your, your idea of, of, of dividing people and your, your divisive, old-fashioned, vul, you know, it's so, I'm vulgar, but you're, you're despicable. I mean, it's disgusting, disgusting human being to, to go, to go viral, to go public like that and, and bash half the country and, and allow your network to, 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 to show, to say that pictures of the, the president and the vice president behind American flags is hate speech. You fucking scumbag. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.